Hello everyone! My name is Azinet B. Miguela. This video lesson is all about batik making. Yes! Tuturuan ko kayo at ipapakita ko sa inyo paano gumawa ng isang simpleng batik. But before that, what is batik? But nowadays, especially here in the Philippines, hindi lang naman siya ginagamit as a materials to clothe the human body. But it uses also include varnishing fabrics, table clothes, and household accessories. So tara, simulan na natin! Prepare the materials, cut canvas or cotton fabric, next sketch a design. If you are planning on making a little picture, you can lightly sketch your design into the fabric. Another option you can do is to cut out a picture or template and trace its outline in the fabric. Make a batik design with glue. Place plastic wrap or plastic placemat under your fabric in case the glue seeps through. Squeeze the glue to make lines and designs on your fabric. You can make simple designs like flowers or geometric shapes or do a complete picture. If you will use a sketch, you simply have to apply glue along the lines of your drawing. Allow the glue to dry. Once you are satisfied with your design, allow the glue to dry. This will take around 6 hours or more, depending on the weight of your fabric and the thickness of your glue lines. When completely dry, the glue lines will turn transparent. Allow the paint to dry. When you have covered the entire fabrics with colors, let the paint dry completely. Soak the glue. Soak the fabric in warm water for 15 to 30 minutes. You can do this in a basin or directly inside a sink or bathtub. The glue will soften as it soaks longer. You can speed up the process by rubbing on the areas with glue. After all the glue has been removed, hang the fabric to dry. Another method that does not involve soaking in water is to peel off the dry glue lines directly from the fabric. Once your batik has dried, iron it and it is ready to be framed or displayed as an artwork. 